Welcome to another three steps to sketch for basic tangent graphs. So today we're going to look at the tangent graph y equals tangent of x over 2. Let's jump in. Okay, we have our process on the left. We have our equation and our grid on the right. And before we start, it might be helpful to a lot of people to rewrite this as tangent of one half times x, just so we can see that b value really clearly. All right, so the method is find the essentials. That's the bulk of the work. Step two, plot your key points. Step three, sketch and repeat. So let's dig in and we will find a and b first. And remember we're working for unshifted tangent graphs. So we're working with this general form a tan bx. So A is really that vertical stretch factor. In this case, we see it's an understood one in front. Um, those are gonna define our curve setting points, that value A. And then B is our coefficient of X. And so that rewrite hopefully helps you see it very clearly. B here is one half. Okay, and another important thing to note, B can tell us how many cycles happen between zero and pi. So when we have our graph finished, we should look at it and check, do we see half of a cycle happening between zero and pi? It's really a good double check that you have a correct graph. All right, so we know we find the period for a tangent graph by using pi over b. So in this case, we have pi over one half, okay? Or we're really going to say that's multiplying by the reciprocal, so that's pi times two over one if you want to write it out. So the period is two pi. Okay, remember that's the length of a horizontal cycle, two pi. All right, that should be making you think, hey, that makes sense. If a whole cycle takes horizontally two pi to complete, then half a cycle should happen by pi. Okay, so that just connects to the B that we just talked about. All right, next we'll find our scale labels. So for horizontal scale labels, this is what you'll label your tick marks. All you have to do is take the period and divide by four. And this will make sure that all your key points line up nicely with your horizontal tick marks. So our period is two pi. We'll divide that by four. So we'll label our horizontal tick marks counting by pi over two. Okay, and then for our vertical scale labels, you just can use A. It's usually the easiest thing to do. So we'll count by ones there. All right, let's go ahead and label those while we're here. All right, so horizontally, we'll count by pi over two. So we have one pi over two, two pi over two, which of course reduces to pi, three pi over two, four pi over two, which reduces to two pi. Uh, stop right here. The fourth tick mark should match with your period for these unshifted tangent graphs for this method, so we should feel good about that. And if you want to keep going, of course you can. So you could count five pi over two, six pi over two, seven pi over two, eight, as far as you need to go. Okay, but we'll stop here since that's what we have. And we'll also label the negative part of the horizontal axis. So negative three pi over two, negative two pi, negative five pi over two, and so on, as far as you need to go. All right, and then vertically, we're just counting by ones. All right, so we've got that labeled, and now we can move on to asymptotes. So remember, there are two ways to go about the asymptotes. You can memorize the formula, or you can use the trick that, um, that I like to use. Check out the video on that tangent asymptotes trick if you need to, um, but I'll show it both ways here. So you can either use the formula to find the asymptotes, which is just x equals pi over 2b plus pi over bk, where k is an integer. So you can just substitute b in and simplify. Okay, um, this is good for these easy tangent graphs or these unshifted tangent graphs, um, but it has to be adjusted a little bit for more difficult ones. So that's kind of the hang up here. Um, but let's go ahead and find our asymptotes equation from that formula. So if you substitute in b is one half, you get x equals pi over so two times one half is just one. So we won't even put over one. And then you have plus pi over b. So pi over one half is just two pi, okay? 
And that makes sense. This last part should always be plus the period that you found. So that's the period you found up here times K. All right, so that's one way you can go about it. If you like the formula, great, go for it that way. Um, I will show the other way as well. And this way does work for any tangent asymptotes, no matter how advanced your equation is in terms of shifting. Um, so all you have to do is take your, I'll work from the rewritten one, your horizontal transformations and set them equal to the parent asymptotes or the asymptotes of just y equals tangent x. So all we would have to say is one half x equals, well, we know the parent asymptotes are pi over two plus pi k. So basically this allows us to apply the horizontal transformations to the asymptotes to determine the asymptotes for our new equation. So in this case, really you could just multiply, get rid of that one half, multiplying everything times two so you would get x equals pi plus 2 pi k. So about the same in this case, maybe a tiny bit easier with the second method, um, but either way you wanna do it, you will end up with the right asymptotes for these unshifted tangent graphs. All right, one final note before we move on to step two and get graphing here is that if we let k equals zero, because remember k is just an integer and this equation for asymptotes just generates each asymptote on the graph um, in a position depending on what integer you plug in for k. But if you let k equals zero, you see that you'd get an asymptote of x equals pi. So I always like to look back over to where I labeled and our second tick mark should agree. Our second tick mark with this method should always be our asymptote. Okay, and so we see it is pi. We should feel really confident that we are on the right track. All right, so we are ready for step two, plot key points. So remember, unshifted tangent graphs start at the origin with the pattern, and it goes zero, curve setting point, that's positive, asymptote, negative curve setting point, and this is where we're using the A to determine that, and then you would repeat. All right, so zero, curve set, asymptote, curve set. All right, we'll start at the origin. Here we go. All right, we know that A was one, so our curve setting point will happen at pi over two comma positive one. Next one will be the asymptote. And then our final point is our other curve setting point, and it will be at the opposite value of our original A. Okay, so that I like to call the negative curve setting point. All right, and then our next point would be the first point in the second pattern, I like to go ahead and plot that on there. I'll do it in a different color just to show it is the start of an X cycle, um, but it does help when we are moving on to sketch. Okay, so those are our key points. And the more you plot those key points, the more examples you do where you're graphing tangent, the more confident you'll get in just knowing how that pattern works. So step three, sketch and repeat. So we're sketching this split cycle of tangent. Okay, and all I mean by that is that it has the asymptote in the middle of the cycle. Okay, and we've got one full cycle of tangent of one half x, or x over two. All right, um, quick note here, and then we will repeat, but go back to B. B tells us how many cycles happen between zero and pi. So in this case, it was one half of a cycle. So if you look, between zero and pi, you have just this half of a cycle that's happened. And so you should feel really confident that you have a correct sketch. Okay, all the pieces fit well together. It's really just a big puzzle. So as long as you've done the prep work really in step one, and as long as you know the pattern, um, it becomes a really pretty simple matter. All right, so let's unhighlight that. Let's repeat one time. Um, so we have our green cycle, we'll do another in purple. Let's move to the negative part of the horizontal axis and just count four tick marks away from the start of your green cycle. So one, two, three, four, because we know that's how much space we will be taking. All right, so we started with a point at negative two pi comma zero, positive curve setting point, asymptote, 
negative curve setting point. And then you can sketch it in. Okay, and another piece to just confirm that you feel really confident that this is right, our period is two pi. That's how long does it take to complete a cycle? So in our method, it's four tick marks should line up with however long the period is. That's how we've designed it. So it makes it really nice. All right, um, let's see one final thing to notice. If you needed to use your asymptotes equation, because we really want to make sure we understand that equation well, to find this asymptote, so x equals negative pi, you would just plug in negative one for k. So let's briefly see how that works. So we're using asymptotes equation. So we'd say x equals pi plus two pi times, we said let's let k be negative one. All right, so really you would end up with pi minus two pi, so negative pi. And you see if k is negative one, we get that asymptote at negative pi. So whatever integer you plug in for k will give you a different asymptote in a different location on this graph. All right, so I hope this method helps you um, find out how you can sketch these unshifted tangent graphs in a pretty easy way. Um, so check out more on Three Steps to Sketch and look at more examples, and good luck.